so I'm going to give, be giving you a tour of two Multicraft mining museums. So yeah, it's like a mining museum in Multicraft, which is uh, pretty cool. This is the first one, and um, I'll, I'll show you the other one in a little bit. So this is the first one. You walk in. Um, where should I go first? I guess I'll go down here. We've got a bit of signs. This mine was built by a multicrafter, Johnny B. Frederick, in 1759 to find iron. And then there's another one over here. This mine was later abandoned in 1773 as there was not much iron in that location. <laughs> um, so this is the actual mine. You've got a couple objects like um a pickaxe over here like old mining objects so you've got a shovel as well a torch oh it gets pretty dark down here okay and a stone pickaxe so this is where the old mine ended again i guess because that small one is very very small it goes all it's very one block um whereas this old mine looks much bigger the mine was then found by michael d thomas in 1823 and was used again to find iron uh, so we've got some uh, my old mining gear right here and then we've got kind of a cave area here um with this support um, go down here. Uh, I forgot. Uh, that's just a torch. So at this point, Michael abandoned the mine in eighteen twenty nine, and this was this mine was never used till nineteen fifty three. Um. So I guess it ended right here. They started digging down more in 1953. Bedrock was discovered in 1953 and this is the spot where it was discovered. It was discovered by Tom G. Daniel. Uh, and then there's like a description of every single ore in the game basically. <laughs> Coal ore which is this all right here a good fuel for a furnace and used for torches iron ore used for many things like armor but mostly tools quartz quartz ore not used for many things but a very good decorative block glowstone a very good light source also a decorative block toroit not used for many things but another decorative block gold good for upgraded tools armor and trading bluestone used for making contraptions but also torches diamonds good for fast tools armor and trading and then emeralds good for really fast tools good armor and trading so then you've got what year different pickaxes were invented in so it's a bit dark here but the wooden pickaxe was invented in 2361 bc which is um quite a while ago um stone pickaxe in 89 bc iron pickaxe in 382 ad gold pickaxe 1953 Diamond pickaxe 1970, uh, emerald pickaxe 1986, and ruby pickaxe 2001. So, this is when every pickaxe was invented. Well, so obviously, that's just some random multi craft things. Well, it's just for like the show, basically. Uh, so, let's go all the way back up now. Mm, which is going to take a bit of a while. Uh, 
Right, there we go. And then this is the modern mine. So this mine is still in use. So this is the storage room and there's some clothing. All the miners are busy right now. So there's only two pieces of cl two clothes left. <laughs> so we've got the things that they mined. Uh, we've got some flint and steels. Um, a pickaxe and some TNT. That's for the people. Um, but so yeah, that's kind of the equipment, the equipment of a miner. A uh, flint and steel, a ruby pickaxe, and sixty-four TNT, or, or just any amount of TNT really. Um, and then it's the same here. And then this is where they smelt and craft. And then over here we have the kitchen, which if you open this up. Um, at the bottom, you have the freezer with all the raw meats that you'd cook in these furnaces. And then up here, we have the fridge um, with all the other kind of foods uh, that you would eat over here. And so down here, we have a cave that they accidentally mined into. So you can go in here. Oh look, it's our first miner that's found some iron and they're placing some ladders to try and get to it. Um, so yeah, these are just armor stands with some armor on them. I know in Minecraft you can make them hold things, so it, it would be cool if you can do that in Multicraft, so you can give them like pickaxes, but you can't do that in Multicraft. So then it's like a pretty cool cave. Um, over here we have a fence in case anyone uh, falls down but you have you kind of have to try to fall down like I mean like normally you can't just walk over it but like I mean you can try you could jump over here and then we've got some supports here for that big rock because it looks like it's gonna fall down and then that's pretty much oh yes yes there's another person down here who is trying to get to this iron so yeah it's pretty much just the same kind of thing so we can go all the way back up here okay so back down the minecart track there's someone who's tnt mining so that's what the TNT and the flint and steel is used for. So you blow up a TNT and then it mines a huge area underground. So that's what this person's doing right here. Oh, this bit's not protected. That's fine. Um, Alright, down here. So the modern miners got tired of building a giant railway track and decided to just dig straight down something very risky, but um, yeah. So this isn't where bedrock was discovered. Um... But this, this is where the modern miners got down to bedrock. So, caution, lava cave here. Do not enter. So then you can see these people have built some wooden bridges on the sides. So you can see one person over here that's mining some gold. And someone's got down there. There's a bridge there. And then you can also see the legs of a little person who's found some stuff down there. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can just about see that down there. Uh, so back up here, you know, I'm just going to fly up here. It's going to take ages to climb. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this mining museum. There is a gift shop, though. So you could have a look at that gift shop. So we've got a flint for one iron. Well... Uh, 5 iron for a toroid, so these are like gemstones, 10 iron for a glowstone dust, 5 iron for quartz, 
10 iron for bluestone dust, 1 iron for an for an 1800s wooden shovel, this isn't any regular wooden shovel, and then an old pickaxe for 2 iron, and then a leather helmet for 3 iron, oh, an old leather helmet, yes. Um, so yeah, that's it for this mining museum, so now the other one. I'm just going to go really fast Whoa! over to the other one, which is somewhere here, I think. Yeah, right here. Welcome, Mining Museum. Unforgettable experience. Don't forget to visit another museum as well. So, yeah. And then that's the coordinates for the other one. Uh, so we've got this here. Mining conditions in olden days. Switch off lamp to see how horrible it was to mine. Alright then. So that's, well, there's water here and everything. <laughs> What's going on down here? What's that little tunnel? It just leads to nowhere. Okay. And then, hold on, let me turn that back on. Uh, we've got some tools and stuff over here. We've got some shovels, some pickaxes, a bucket, a boat, some string, a rail, and a fire block for some reason. Uh, typical equipment of a multi-craft miner in the 1800s. There we go, a couple of pieces of leather armour. Uh, a couple of oars, a boat, some tools, and some food. Um, never mind straight down. You might fall in lava or a deep cave. Such as that. No, that. <laughs> lava. Oh, oops. What's that? Oh, okay. Never mind straight up. You may suffocate under falling gravel, such as this. Oh, yay, I found quartz. Oh, no, I'm getting crushed by gravel. Or sand. Pretty much the same thing. Have your shovel ready to dig yourself out. So your best coordinates for diamonds is 52 to 56Y coordinate. Fun fact, blue dust is often found in clusters and not far in diamonds. That's pretty cool. <laughs> The most dangerous but most rewarding mining is near lava. The easiest way to escape lava death is by having a private TP. Dry sponge is very useful in drying up lava. Take a few buckets of water into lava cave to make obsidian. So, such as this right here. That looks epic. <laughs> Look at all those ores. That looks pretty cool. Um... So, how fast can you get to bedrock? Ready, steady, jump! One, two. I'd say that's about three seconds because I started counting a bit late. So, three seconds. All right. You've made it to bedrock. Mine has discovered... Bedrock in the 1950s with the invention of golden pickaxe. Okay, so we've got some ores and stuff here. Slime was invented in 1958 by English multicrafter Benedict Slime after his friend died in a mining accident. <laughs> Alright, what we got in here? Ooh, some apples. I can sit down. Oh, sit down here. Enjoy some apples next to some ores. Very nice. <laughs> All right, back up the ladder. What does that say? Up the ladder to the surface. Okay. Whoa. Wait. No. You know what? Yeah, I'll do it in fast. Actually, it's going to take ages. All right. Quiz time. Yay! Wait. Yay! Quiz time! <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. 
spots two blocks that you would not see in a multicraft mine so i'm guessing well i think there's kind of more than two but i could be wrong a gold block they don't spawn in blocks and also quartz blocks right here um i'm guessing uh mining spring water is better than buxton water i can swim up <laughs> Oh, it goes down. Wait. Drowning is not allowed. Ah. <laughs> All right then. Okay. Right. What is here? You are a miner in 1900s. You have you are poor and have no torches. Can you find seven ores and a lost friend? Okay. I can do that. Uh, okay, one, two, three, is there something down here? Oh, four. Oh, hey, that's our last friend, hello. <laughs> uh, oh, five. Oh, and six. Is there another one somewhere else? Oh, seven. Does that count? It's glowstone. I think that counts as an ore. Um, alright, down here, I completed the challenge. Alright, what is this? The biggest deposit of gold in Multicraft Europe. Don't forget to take a picture. Smile for the camera! Alright then. I think that was a lovely picture. Drip! Dripping gold mine. Lava melts the gold ore and water cools it down to solid. All right, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> I like how it's like dripping effect. That's pretty cool. Any? No, there's nothing here. Okay. All right, modern mining area. You can't go down there. Okay. Bit of water here. Oh, it looks like there's something. Ne never mind. <laughs> Um, no, can't go down there either. What's down there? Oh, whoa! <laughs> I managed to get through somehow, and there's lava there. Okay, I don't want to go there. Okay. Right, what is this? Resting and smelting area. This is nice. <laughs> oh, it's actually night. Okay, we're out of two players. Oh, look. Oh. Wait, okay, wait, can you go to sleep? Uh, I made it day, okay. Well, I, I don't know what's the point anyway, It's it, I'm literally in a cave. Um. Okay, so this is the modern mine resting thingy, which it looks very nice. Um, yeah, look at, look at this. This is nice. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got a fridge, I'm guessing. And a chest with some other things. Pretty cool. Okay, so we've got some armor, some clothing, very nice. Some equipment, some sponges. Pickaxe, sword, shovel, makes sense. Hammers, some ores, blue stone, all sorts of stuff that you need for mining. What's in here? Oh, this is the ores that they got. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Oh, there's actually stuff in here. Some, some smelted gold, smelted iron, smelted toroid, nothing in there. Smelted gold, nothing in there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Oh, what's in here? Some more mining equipment. All right. Follow down for for modern mine experience. Okay. Go down for modern mine experience. Okay. Some lava there, but I should be fine. Oh, what's going on down there? Okay, can I make the... 
Can I activate the piston or something? The, I don't think there's anything I can click. Okay, whatever. Whoa. There's so much going on here. This is awesome. There's someone over here mining. Uh, looks like they're going up to the glowstone. Uh, they've got some TNT over here, probably ready to blow stuff up to get stuff. Uh, they're pushing some obsidian. Getting some water with sponges, I'm guessing. Someone mining some stuff over here. Someone mining that stuff? This is awesome. Oh, I've got someone TNT mining. <laughs> Alright, anything in here? Just a lantern. Okay. Working mine to bedrock. You can mine down when when you get down. Okay. Mind your square head. <laughs> oh, someone over there. Uh, oof, 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 oof. How am I supposed to mind it? Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> uh, it's just, oh, what's this? Burning excesses, what, wait, what? Burning of excesses methane gas. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but we've got some fire there. Okay, what's down here? Ooh, ooh, they're moving bedrock. Working model of bedrock moving machine. Ooh, very cool. Wait. Um, alright, I wonder if you can actually do that, like, can you, like, actually move bedrock, I don't know, I'm guessing you can. Deal of the century, yes, this is the most expensive item of the server, bedrock, so you can buy bedrock for a stack of rubies, one bedrock for a stack of rubies, I mean, that's a pretty good deal, you can't get bedrock in normal survival. All right, I can sit down here. Rest a bit. Uh, all right. You can start mining here. Oh, it's unprotected. Yep, you can mine there. That is correct. All right, so that's pretty much what there is in both of the mining museums, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, oh wait, no, 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 the gift shop, yeah, yeah. Um, alright, oh, there's something here. Ruby tools will last longer than you and need, n and no need for hammers. Yeah, the ruby tools are unbreakable. Oh, ruby versus emerald, what is your choice? Ruby! <laughs> emerald tools are faster than ore. Yeah, ruby. Because it saves you so much iron, so, so you don't have to fix them ever. You just have to make one and then you don't have to fix it. Whereas emerald is like a little bit faster, but you'll need so much iron to fix it over time. Vending machine, what's here? Iron for all that. All right, I can do that. I'm a bit hungry. Not really, actually. I'm on full hunger, but why not? All right, I have all these tasty snacks. Is there a seat anywhere? Uh, can I get a seat? Um, whatever. I'll just, I'll just sit next to this. You know what? No, I'll, I'll eat my stuff. On top of lava, eat my chocolate before it melts. Nice, very nice. Right, I've already been down there, I've been down there. Fun fact, dinosaurs never existed. With their alleged antithethethme, <laughs> it was impossible for them to procreate. All right, gift shop. Reuse your sponge by drying it in furnaces. Yep. 59 for a 
sponge, yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, anyway. Quartz crystal mined in the 1800s wards off evil spirits or one iron. Assortment of bones, possibly of miners who dug straight down uh, for one coal. Okay, 1800s mining tool. Okay, wooden pickaxe for one coal. Uh, wait, ancient mining helmet before health and safety was a thing for one iron. Okay. Purple crystal to bring to bring mining luck for two coal. Nice. Um. Although. Um. Hold on. Uh. What was there? Quartz. Uh. Bones. Uh. Wooden pickaxe. Uh. Helmet. Uh, Troy. Oh yes, I just spent so much iron and coal on all that stuff. You can't believe it. Oh, wh what's going on now? <laughs> what? What's happening? You can see my what? Is this an X-ray glitch? What is going on? Uh.